Sue, I need your help. It's urgent. What's up, Sammy? I was just checking out the garbage. <laughs> you were doing what, Sammy? Be serious, Susie. Anyway, a black cat crossed my path. So what? It must have been Mr. Snuffles, our neighbor's cat. He runs away pretty often. Oh, yeah? And what about the bad luck he brought into my life? <laughs> <gasps> Sammy, are you okay? Uh, I'm telling you, that's the black cat's curse. Oh, enough, Sammy. It's just an animal that happens to have black fur. I'm gonna prove to you right now that black cats can actually bring light. Come on. Hi, guys. Today we're going to make a cute LED lamp in the form of that little kitten. This is how the lamp will look from the side, and this is the way it'll look from the front. Awesome, right? Whoa! Susan, does that mean it's gonna be black? <laughs> That's right, Sammy. Despite any of your superstitions, guys, we'll need a 3D pen. We're gonna use it a lot today. Remember to be careful. Here we go. By the way, guys, you can browse our channel to find more 3D pen crafts we've made. As you've noticed, we started with the outlining of the cat's body. Be very careful with the pen, guys. The plastic inside is really hot. Like this. We're not drawing the cat's ears just yet. All right. Now we can start filling in the space. Just make sure that you've made it visible where the cat's paw is. Okay, now we need to take this off and start shaping the head of our cat. So, let's move to the full face drawing. Guys, you better start by drawing the line straight in the middle, like this. Why do we need that, Susan? I'll show you in a second, Sammy. In the meantime, could you please bring me the scissors? You'd really be helping me a lot. <laughs> Sure, in a blink of an eye. So, did you have enough time to blink? Wow, that was fast, Sammy. We'll carefully take this off. And cut this piece in half, moving along the line we drew first. Be careful with scissors. Sue, so, I don't get it. First you draw a line, now you cut it. What's the point? <laughs> Watch this, Sammy. Oh, wow. I thought some magic wouldn't do any harm. <laughs> Now we'll attach this part to the big one using a 3D pen. This way. Oh, I see. That was to give volume to the cat's head. Do you get it, guys? Then give a thumbs up. Check this out. Here's what we've got. Hmm, it looks like a flower to me. <laughs> You're right, Sammy. I just checked the internet. Do you know how old this thing with black cats and red log is? Well, go on. Surprise me, Sammy. It dates back to the Middle Ages when people tended to believe in curses and witchcraft. Exactly, Sammy. You see, people back then didn't know as much as they do today. They were afraid of anything that was unusual. Take this 3D pen, for example. I bet if you and I could travel back in time and show them this pen, they would have taken us for wizards doing some dark magic. <laughs> Speaking of magic... Hop! Voila! <laughs> Guys, we made this part of our cat lamp exactly like we made its head. If having a cat means knowing how to do magic, then I don't mind. Ah, I think I'm gonna give Fluffy a treat. Here, kitty kitty. Now you're talking, Sammy. <laughs> Susan, 
Did you know that there are 200 different breeds of cats in the world? Can you imagine? Really? That many? Oh yeah, it also says that there are at least 600 million domestic cats in the world. Now imagine how many of those are black. <laughs> animals have nothing to do with mysteries. Actually, Sammy, I wouldn't be so sure about that. For example, in ancient Egypt, they believed cats were magical creatures. I remember, they had a goddess named Bastet who could transform into a cat. Right. Ancient Egyptians believed that this deity was responsible for the fruitfulness of crops. So they kept cats in their houses, fed them deliciously, and even put expensive jewelry on them to butter up Bastet. Oh, and did it work? It did. Although I think jewelry probably had nothing to do with it. Cats were catching mice so that they couldn't spoil the grain. <laughs> wow, Susie, are you finishing? Not exactly, Sammy. Just a few touches left. Hurry up, Sue! I'm trying, Sammy. What an impatient slime you are. Ugh. Okay, guys, now the body of our cat lamp is pretty much sturdy. Check this out. We even drew this little paws over here. And a little collar. Susie, don't take it personally, but... Those parts you're talking about are hardly visible. None taken, Sammy. Besides, we'll deal with that right now. Guys, a soldering iron is not a toy. Ask an adult to help you at this stage. Our aim here is to carefully flatten the plastic all over the craft. This way. Phew, you're gonna need a lot of patience. <laughs> Aw, it'll take an eternity. I'd better go grab something tasty. Oh, Sammy, Sammy, my little sweet tooth. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, we'll keep working. <laughs> what? Oh no! My candies! Fluffy! <sighs> Easy, Sammy. Breathe. He's a divine creature. Ah! <sighs> At least my Nutella is safe in the fridge. Ha! Huh. To me, it looks great. What do you say, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree. Uh, uh. Susie! missing a few details. Like ears, you mean? Don't worry, here they are. And they're already smooth and neat, exactly as they should be. To make our cat smooth too, we need a polishing tool. Use this under an adult supervision. <coughs> I trust Susan with this type of work. Oh, I'm sorry, Sammy. This dust is flying everywhere. <coughs> it's okay. Now I'm properly equipped. <laughs> Finally, now our craft looks like this. Nice, huh? Okay, guys, we can finally make our cat look more like a cat. <laughs> Wait, Sue, let the master handle this. 3D Panicus at Tachikus. Now that's what I call magic. <laughs> wow, Sammy, the ears look so real now. You did a really great job. And so quickly. Now it's my turn to demonstrate my magical skills to you. <laughs> Whoosh! Guys, at the tip of the tail there should be this tiny hitch. We'll need it to hang up the light bulb. Speaking of light, can I borrow the 3D pen? Of course! Thank you! I wonder what he's up to. Guys, you'll need to cover your workspace for the next stage of our craft. 
We're going to do some painting. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I just love this dim black color. Phew, are you already done? Almost, Sammy. We just need to draw a cute little face. Let's start with the eyes. We'll take some white color and carefully paint all this space. Don't rush. Like this. I love painting our craft. It's kind of like meditation and fun at the same time. Just don't go beyond the edges, Sue. Smooth touches. Smooth. Oh, that restless slime. <laughs> he always tries to control me. How much longer? I'm already hungry. What this impatience of yours is all about? Anyway, fine. I'll speed up. Check out how cool our lamp is now! you liked it, Sammy. I hope you don't mind if I put it in my room. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.